So this is like really quick because I have to get going out the door. Today is my birthday and I wanted to do a video sharing with you my dress, which I did whatever the other Christmas video about and you all suggested that I wear the black dress. So here it is. And I also thought that, you know, what the heck, let's do um, a birthday look video. So here's my whole look. I know this is going to come out uh, a little later than my birthday, but you know, at least you get to see um, the dress that you all picked for me for today. Thank you so much. I love you. Happy birthday to me. Happy New Year. Okay, so let's get started. I used the um, vitamin enriched Bobbi Brown face primer and then I'm going to follow with my Neutrogena tint. I like this one because it's light. I use the olive color. And remember, I'm not a pro, but I just wanted to show you my makeup look for my birthday. I'm going to contour with Anastasia Beverly Hills. I recently got this and I'm totally in love with this product because it's creamy, so it's easy to manipulate. And it's got like all the different color options to do your contouring regardless of your skin tone. So it's really, really great. It just goes on softly and smoothly and you can apply it with soft coverage or deep coverage, like full coverage foundation. In my case, I'm using the lighter Neutrogena foundation. So, so there I am just applying the lighter shade to my eyelids to prime for my eyeshadow I'm prepping and now I'm just lightly contouring my nose to give it more definition and so my face just is more in tune with lighting and when you take pictures or when the light hits you just remember that you know you basically just highlight where the light hits naturally which are the high points of the face and then you slightly darken the other points like under the cheeks the outer parts of your forehead just basically the outer parts of your face and of course the outer parts of your nose I'm going to be using the I look Look Pro by Janie Cosmetics and you can use whichever shades you like I'm gonna um, just leave that up to you just use a very light shade a medium and a darker shade so after I go ahead with my light shade on my upper brow or upper eyelid I'm sorry next to my brow then I go in with my medium shade which is like a mauve and then I'm just gonna break at the crease with a charcoal shade and blend it to give it depth. So with my original lighter shade, I'm gonna go ahead and just go all over my eyelid and highlight because I want a glowy highlight, fresh look. My medium shade, which is that mauve rose, I will go ahead and line the lower lids blend it out to make it a smoky effect and I'm going to use my liquid liner and line very very close I'm not going to do like a high wing or anything extended just very close to my lash line something subtle but enough to make my eye stand out and I'm not going to go ahead and line the whole bottom of my eye just like up to 75% in so not a hundred percent but a little more than half on the lower lower lid I do that with the remaining of my eyeliner so that way it's just like enough color not too much so my eyebrows I just always brush them make sure that you're choosing a color that is not too dark so I use like a brown shade um, from Physicians Formula the gel liner and I just apply it 
my eyelashes when I do wear eyelashes which is rare but it's a special occasion I do cut them I most of the time I have been cutting them lately um, because it's just a hassle to put them on like the whole thing so I find that it's more comfortable for me it takes a little longer but it's more comfortable for me I just put the glue in a little bundle and then just dip in the glue let it dry a few seconds and apply starting in the middle outwards and apply it in little segments to finish off I'm using my Maybelline contour kit and uh, I just love this little kit because it just has that glow factor to it so because it is powder it just helps me like set everything else in and makes my makeup last longer so I just go over what I originally did with Anastasia and uh, just highlight a little more and contour just a little deeper and I find that this particular palette it does not crease it just really blends well with my skin type it does not crease it lasts really really for hours so I'm very happy with it and last but not least my lips I just apply like a regular lip gloss and then I go over it with believe it or not my Anastasia uh, contour my the darkest contour shade to just give it like a natural skin tone look and there you have it there is my dress from mad rack the ones that you guys chose for me on my giveaway video and that purse I got at Marshall's it was like $19.99 about six months ago so I hope you guys like it thank you so much for watching and uh, see you next time